I wasn't supposed to start a new project. The original goal was to get more comfortable with 3D and animations during 2022. It started with one animation that turned out well, and Twitter liked it, so I decided to keep playing around with this character. Making him run around in 3D felt natural, so I saw an opportunity to learn how to make a good 3D character controller in the process. As things went on, I started to think about an old prototype I played around with two years ago, about how that style would fit well with what I was making. So it's been three months of development on evenings outside of my work, and I'm having so much fun with it. I should introduce myself to those who are new. Hi, my name is Kevin, and this is the game that I'm working on. I still haven't really figured out the pitch, how to talk about the game, but I describe it by saying you play as a clay chicken running around in a world created out of like paper and clay. While I'm still trying to figure out how the game will work, I am inspired by other 3D platformers and collect thons such as Hat in Time, Mario Odyssey, Mario 3D World, and Spyro, to name a few. And I plan to have the devlog as a way to document the journey for this game because I personally feel like I've got something special. I got a background as a level designer, programmer, and a producer, so I might lean into some different topics about how I might make some decisions based on saving time and performance, and I hope that might be interesting to you. The biggest question I wanted to answer was, am I capable of making a game like this? It leads me to the mini milestones I'm focusing on. I'll start from the beginning. The first three weeks, I focused on making a character control that felt nice. Running, jumping, diving, ledge grab, and so on. The level, as you see, is just a playground, but it's fun to run around with the character. I released a small test for people to try, and the majority of feedback was positive. The rest of the things I've addressed later, I wasn't expecting it to be flawless in the first three weeks, but I felt I had to throw myself out there to see if it was any good. Because on Twitter, people seemed to like what I was doing, and I'll be honest, a part of me thought that once people tried it, everything would slow down. Quite the opposite happened, so to anyone that tried the demo or the test, thank you. Next milestone for me was to do some art tests. I've been a big fan of Tearaway since I first played it on my PlayStation Vita, and I've always loved the visuals of Little Big Planet, Ghost Giant, and other games like that. As I said, the original plan was to get more comfortable with 3D, so I just decided to dive right in and also look at a lot of inspiration in order to get in the mood and understand how other great games solved things before me. So here's where my mind did something cool for once. I thought, what if I make a fake trailer? So I explore different areas that you could visit, and then I'll have to make those environments. I know I can make a fun game, but it's the art where I was insecure about, so this was a perfect way to tackle that. That will help me try new things and hopefully keep it fresh for the live streams. Yeah, I know, it's a it's a smooth way to let you know that I do live stream the game over on Twitch. There's a link in the bio if you're interested. But as I worked on this fake trailer, I was forced to nail down some aspect of what a full game would be like, what the goal is, and at least some outline of the story. Who are the characters? I can go into this another time, but I'm inspired by Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, Banjo-Kazooie, so all these duo friendships from my childhood. My next milestone is something I've just started doing right now and I will probably explore for a while in order to make sure it's good before moving on. I will make one level that feels finished. I'm not quite sure which type of level I want to make. Will it be a hub area with doors just like Spyro the Dragon? To linear levels inspired by Mario 3D World that play around one mechanic? Or... Would it be like Mario Odyssey, where it's one big open level? I do think about performance advantages and workload as a solo developer, but I can go further into this in another video, as I feel like I don't want to go too on for too long in the first video. I'd say I'm new to this, so I'm still figuring out some things about making a devlog. I'd love to hear what kind of levels you like in a 3D platform or a collectathon uh, in the comments down below. If you have any feedback or encouraging words, I'd love to hear that as well. I'll read everything. If you want to stay up to date with what I'm doing with the devlog and everything, uh, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you next time. Take care.